China celebrated its annual Singles Day, bringing in $38 billion of sales for Alibaba. Singles Day is now the world's biggest shopping day. Never heard of Singles Day? Well, don't worry, neither did I, and you're not the only one either. Singles Day is an informal, anti-Valentine's Day holiday celebrated in China by people who aren't in relationships. Its date, November 11th, was chosen because the date is written as four ones or all singles. So it's February 22nd then, a date that has all twos called Doubles Day. This is a great marketing technique because really Valentine's Day, it does exclude people, but Singles Day can be celebrated by anyone, especially the growing trend of people remaining unmarried. So what did they do in 2011 when all six digits were ones? Did they have Super Singles Day? I'll tell you what they did. What they did was they hit that like button to help smaller YouTube channels and they subscribed to the channel to show support. Alibaba is a Chinese conglomerate holding company specializing in e-commerce, retail, internet, and technology. Alibaba first started offering Singles Day discounts in 2009, and this made-up event has since turned the day into a 24-hour, all-you-can-buy, online shopping spree in China, and it is slowly gaining traction even in other countries. Sales in 2019 increased 26% year over year, and this is already more sales than on Black Friday and Cyber Monday in the United States combined. Now, what's helping drive these huge increases in sales? Well, Alibaba expanded the number of discounted items this year. These products are often on huge sales, much like they are on Black Friday in the United States. Additionally, this year's events put a heavy emphasis on live streaming via its platforms to help sell goods. Live streaming has become a big part of the shopping experience on Chinese e-commerce sites. I also thought this was interesting, but many Western celebrities like Kim Kardashian, who is the queen of marketing, were also doing live streams to promote their products and where they could be found. Taylor Swift was even performing in Shanghai, which was live streaming for all of China to watch and promote the day. And you all know that Taylor was getting paid, because I'm sure her talent bookings aren't cheap. So definitely a lot of Western influencers had an impact on Singles Day, which is surprising because I wouldn't expect Chinese citizens to ever care about American celebrities. I mean, I'm shocked Americans even care about the Kardashians. But that's the world we live in. This record day of performance was a bit of a surprise because as you guys know, the Chinese-American trade war has had China in a bit of a decline and slowdown. But hey, all you have to do is keep slashing prices and promoting products and people will eventually buy it. It's crazy how much the quality of life has changed in China in just a few decades. In 1978, nearly 300 million Chinese were believed to be living in absolute poverty. That number has decreased to around just 70 million, which is still a lot, but a lot less than 300 million, when China began to introduce market reforms and promoted foreign trade and the individual right to entrepreneurship. So that's a huge part in why China is now a powerhouse and rivaling the United States in riches. What's scary to think about though is that Alibaba has plenty of room to grow because they will be pushing into less developed parts of China and keep in mind they have a population of over 1.3 billion people, nearly four times as much as the US population. There is plenty of untapped opportunity in China. Alibaba stock is up 36% year-to-date and has a market cap of $486 billion. But I could easily see this continue to rise, especially when the trade wars finally end. Maybe one day that might happen. $87 billion in revenue so far in 2019, and it certainly has some economic moats when you're making that much money. 
I have actually ordered a knockoff Detroit Pistons jersey from their uh, site before, and it was super cheap. And it also looks 100% authentic, even though I know it's a knockoff. So I really had a positive experience dealing with them. When I first started investing, I actually got burnt by a Chinese stock. And ever since then, I've been pretty hesitant on investing in China again. And their ongoing political issues certainly isn't helping. But it may be time to flip the switch here. This certainly wasn't a stock analysis of Alibaba, but more of a news event that caught my eye. So let me know if you guys are invested in Alibaba, and if you think its share price will continue to rise in the future. Do you guys trade Chinese stocks? And what do you think about Alibaba's marketing techniques? Do you think that live streaming promotions will become more and more popular here in the Western Hemisphere? Maybe we will see it during Black Friday? As always, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to hit, hit me with a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos.